Hey what's up YouTube, welcome back to Tech Galore. Today we're going to show you guys how to use OpenAI API key in Python. So we're going to create a small little program, a small chatbot in Python and we will be utilizing the API key to communicate with ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and create our project. So right here is our main. I'm gonna go ahead and paste the entire code that we will be using and explain everything to you guys. So this is all the code that we will be needing. Right here is a model that we will be importing, the OpenAI, which allows us to interact with the OpenAI API. And right here is our API key. Now, where can we find our API key? We need we need to log into our OpenAI account under the profile section. Right here, you can find user API key. So, in order to get a new API key, we need to go here, create new secret key. You can just type test just for test purpose. Create user key. A key is generated. Once the key is generated, you need to copy this key and paste it somewhere that only you have access to because after you click done you will not be able to go back and view the key so you can click done so once you get your key you can go ahead and paste that key right in here so let's go ahead and talk about our function or our, our function section so pretty much the def df chat and a scroll with gpt this defines a function that takes a single argument prompt which is the user input and the response equal open AI chat completion part this line sends the user prompt to the open ai and requests a response using chat gpt4 model and the model is just gpt4 we specify the model that we will be using here the message with the role user context prompt this prompt is formatted as a message with the role user the return response that choice this extracts the response text from the choice and remove any leading or trailing white space let's take a look at our main the if underscore name underscore equal equal Underscore, underscore main this ensure that the following code only runs if the script is executed directly uh, not if it's imported as a module the print welcome to OI the print welcome to the open AI chatbot this pre pretty much prints a welcome message the while true section starts an infinite loop to keep the chatbot running the user underscore input equal input this part prompts the user for input if user underscore input that lower checks if the user wants to end the conversation the print chatbot goodbye prints a goodbye message if the user wants to quit so if the user wants to quit the user just needs to type quit exit or buy the break exit the loop and ends the program your response equal chat calls the chat with gpt function to get the response from gpt the print pretty much just prints the response from the gpt so with that, our code is pretty much complete. All we need to do now is install this module right here, OpenAI. We're going to go ahead and go to the terminal section. I'm going to install. Since I'm using a Mac, I will do pip install OpenAI. After installation is complete, I can now go ahead and run this program. Program is running. Let's go ahead and test our program or well, our chatbot. Okay, we seem to have an error here. It says that 
we need to use this version right here this version of OpenAI so we're going to copy this go back to the terminal so pip install OpenAI equal equal 0 0.28 so installation is completed let's go ahead and run the program again okay let's we ask our question how many teams are in the NBA on size 30 how many teams are in the just as an FYI this specific version of a chatbot their data is up to date as of 2022 and as you can see here it says as of 2022 there are only 12 teams in the WNBA so now it seems like our chatbot is, chat is working fine with no issues so let's go ahead and tell it bye as you can see after we said bye the chatbot responded to us with a goodbye and the program has ended so that brings us to the end of our video thank you for watching so if this video helped you in any way feel free to give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to our tech color channel for more videos such as this if you have any video suggestions feel free to drop them down below in the comment section and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content We'll see you in the next video.